Now let's install FreeDOS 1.2 inside DOSBox. Let me show you what I've already done. I've already created a drive that will contain the installer files and I've also created a file for mounting my drives. I'm going to be using drive E to contain the installer files. I've also already modified my DOSBox preference file. At the end of the preferences file you'll see a couple of lines I've already added. The first is for automatically mounting my custom drives. The second is used to automatically start the FreeDOS autoexec bat file. Now, head over to the FreeDOS website and download the full USB installer. Once the download has completed, extract the archive and then mount the image file go to the mounted file systems directory you'll need to copy FD setup and setup.bat to drive E and copy setup bat to drive E now we can start DOSBox. As you can see it automatically mounted drive C and our new drive E. One thing you'll probably wish to do is increase the speed of your DOSBox. The install process can be quite slow with the default settings. Now head over to drive E and start the setup program. I'm going to pick English, yes continue, US keyboard, full installation, and then finally install. And now we can just wait for it to complete. The DOSBox install is not very fast, so I have sped this portion up quite a bit. And we'll pick Reboot. And restart DOSBox. There's FreeDOS 1.2.